This is absolutely mind-blowing footage. You've probably noticed that that's not how the train is supposed to be. Yeah, it's on its side. This is an Amtrak train that derailed in Missouri. The train was going from Los Angeles to Chicago and had well over 200 people on board. Many have been injured and there are some fatalities. I'm going to navigate you through this story with some of the most amazing video, photos, and details I've heard of in a while, including this. This is from somebody who was on the train, quite obviously, Rob Nightingale. And he started recording and he's like, ugh, oh, it happened. Damn it. It happened. Damn it, it happened. Now she says, don't step on the glass. Look at this. Because the train's on its side, she's worried she's going to fall through the glass on this uh, Amtrak car. We're okay. Now they go up top. Yes, sir. Now, how crazy is this? I'm almost positive that's an Amtrak employee right there. Guy dusts himself off, and he's walking along the side of the train car after the derailment to ask everybody if they're okay. Oh, looks like he'd be late to Chicago. Brutal. Okay. okay. We're gonna be late to Chicago. Damn. We hit a truck. Someone was crossing the tracks. Yeah. A lot of people oh, laying on later. the side of the train. And then they get off here in just a moment and walk around a little bit. You'll get a bigger idea of, or a better idea, I should say, of how widespread this is. The, the train is incredibly uh, detached from the track. It's not just a small portion of it. See? Young kid with his mother, I'm guessing. And then you can see lots of people right here that are on top of these cars. This is very traumatic for him. This is Rob Nightingale uh, telling his story of what happened. Yeah, I was just dozing off to take a quick nap before my lunch reservation, and then there was a jolt, and then I woke up, and then it, the train started rocking and flickering, and, and it just seemed like a normal jolt, but then I could definitely feel it come off the tracks. And then it just kept going. And then it, then it started to tip on my side, and and I saw the ground coming towards me, well, the dirt and everything. So I shimmied myself up against the wall because I was afraid the glass would shatter and I'd get, you know, sucked underneath. Could you imagine? And um, then it stopped, and it was just silence, just silence. Wow, unbelievable. Here uh, is another photograph from on top of this train where you can just see they really truly are out in the middle of nowhere. I'll show you where a chopper was overhead uh, in just a moment. But uh, this story says Amtrak derails in Missouri, at least three taken to the hospital. There were 243 passengers on the train at the time. There are injuries and there are uh, fatalities, we believe, at this point in time. Now, you can see here, let me get out of the way. This is where this occurred, uh, out in the middle of nowhere in Missouri. And these uh, choppers that were flying overhead, you could actually hear in the background in that prior video. They shot some pretty amazing footage as well, including this, where you see that uh, these train cars are off a good distance from the tracks. And there are the wheels, apparently, from the truck that they came in contact with, which was for some reason blocking the tracks. You could see anything from emergency personnel to uh, passengers who are trying to get off of this train in this overhead shot. Again, just fields out from that, which you don't want to get stuck in either, but it makes it much harder to get an emergency response to this very isolated area that people aren't generally uh, visiting. They're usually on the train, moving down the tracks when they're in this spot. Another passenger, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you in a second one of the most vile things that I just knew was coming in this, in this story about this Amtrak derailment. Here is uh, Dax McDonald. He was also inside the train. Oh, shit. See the train's on its side. You can see where the seats are. Hello. Pretty wild. There's also some pretty great photos right here. This is 
a, a high school near Menden where they shipped all of the uh, people who were on this Amtrak. They said the school helped pull everybody together, and you can see that they are gathered here in the gymnasium at this school as a staging area, a place for them to try to figure out where to go next. Uh, here's the part that always irks me, and tell me if you think this is gross behavior. This is in the comment thread under Dax McDonald's comments, and you see all of these news media people. David Williams, uh, do you agree that CNN can use your photos and video on all CNN uh, media uh, in perpetuity along with affiliate distribution? Do you confirm that you're exclusive owner and rights holder and have all necessary rights to authorize use? What's your name? And he's not the only one. This is Austin from CBS Evening News diving on here. A guy who is just in a train derailment. And they're like, hey, buddy, we want your video, please. We want to air it on Fox 4 News in Kansas City. Hey, I'm with ABC News. Glad you're safe, says live now from Fox. Uh, did you take these photos? Fox wants to air it. KMBC 9 in Kansas City. KSDK News in St. Louis. Hey, this is Leah Michelle in ABC 17. On and on KTLA, you can see how many reporters are just like, like vampires or something, you know? Just, just really digging in in the comments of somebody who said, hey, my train just did this. This is what happened to me. Hey, are you okay? By the way, give us the rights to your video in perpetuity, worldwide exclusive. Let me know what you think. Have you ever been on a train when there was an incident like this? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you're thinking about this situation in Missouri. I feel bad for the guy, uh, for everybody involved in this, but uh, you could tell the emotion was heavy with uh, the person who filmed this video, Rob Nightingale. Stunning stuff. Thank you for watching as always. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit the follow button. YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe over there. Look forward to your comments as always, and we'll talk to you again real soon.